OneDrive on it, on all of them now. Uh, but when I go to the OneDrive, it shows all the uh, all the folders empty. So I don't know what's going on. I have I have it on my uh, main computer, and I listen okay. to the first uh, so sure. section of Mort. <laughs> All right, it finally happened. Thank you, John. Uh, We're live. Uh, thank you. Now I'm I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking at the same time. I'm... Well, I muted it. That's Don't know why about you. <laughs> See, that's why I make you know, a point to mute That's why things. we don't like when you don't tell us you we're going we are going live because no, nah, no, nah, it's funny this nice way. We are having a nice conversation, and suddenly we we hear. It's fucking awful. You're fucking awful. Not you, John. It's fucking awful. You that just was, you just feel fucking awful, which is a, a sad thing, really. No. I mean, I thought 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 you were talking about me as I just drop out and drop back in, and as as I also as we established is that we got to start the show with a fuck Jonathan. Uh, was it fucked? Well, all right. Fuck you. Um, and fuck us whiners. <laughs> Got to do what I can. Well, which fuck makes you, me... John. <laughs> which reminds me, I'm hungry. I'm going to, I'm going to drop out. Fuck you, all of you people. I'm old. <laughs> See, already, already. I'm going to have some wieners. <laughs> That wasn't the reference to the earlier porn discussion, by the way. Yeah, that's why I... <laughs> Is that actually food? Wieners, yes. hot, hot dogs. dogs. Um, Frankfurters. Oh, like sausages. Well, you, yeah. Like a certain kind of sausage that fits into a small <laughs> okay, bun. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> it it also needs penis. Yeah, I know that. I know the penis <laughs> part. It's a good thing to know that she at least knows the penis part, yes. I didn't know I it was actual out. food. That's why I find it funny <laughs> that it's a sausage. sausage. This is getting confusing. What are we talking about now? Of course, sausage also means penis. More rarely. Everything means penis, more or less. Except in Britain, where it all means vagina. Yeah. Your language is Britain amazing is with that. I remember that scene in Austin Powers when there's the uh, Doctor Evil ship is in looks like a dick. And everybody's making comments. Everybody's commenting about it, and there's like twenty different names crammed into five minutes of movie. Johnson, Wiener, Sausage. One Eye Monster. Mm -hmm. uh, Marty Apernafty wants a large SJW burger, please. Um, only if it's vegan. Sorry. And that's just the way we do things here. Are you vegan, John? No. Oh. But we're SJW, so we have to. Oh, it's the law. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a, I'm a carnivore, SJW. So you're strictly meat eater. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't even get fillers in my hot dogs, or wieners, or penises. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. God, no. Old and inappropriate. Put you're that up in John Cat. <laughs> So it looks like we have our first schism in the church of SAW between the carnivores and the vegans. Oh, Marty is here. Hi, Marty. Hello, Marty. Hi, Marty. Hey, Marty. What's in a SJW burger? Do well, we have... apparently that's as opposed to the carnivore or carnivore uh, hot dog. Right. We we eat the rich, so maybe mm -hmm. there's some made of the rich, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. And yes. the pickles yeah. were salted with the tears of white males. Oh yes, that totally makes sense. Yes, okay. that's definitely how we would do it. Yeah. 
Okay, I have to tell you something, Americans. Pickles are gross. You are wrong. No, no, no. no. Yes, I, I don't like pickles either. I, it's just like... I mean yours, because... I was, oh, okay, okay, okay. But still, uh, I said my mind. I was a little, uh, like the... Nope, you're both muted now. Neither of you likes pickles, so you're off the podcast. Until I realize that Tom doesn't talk enough, and I unmute you. <laughs> and now you're unmuted. All right. I don't have words today. I think I'm just <laughs> going to try and shut up. No, no, you're the funny one. No, no, no. You're the one that the, you're the one that is makes this worthwhile. You don't care yeah, about you're the, the you're the only one they come. I don't even see. Ca- I don't even care about me. I'm most interested <laughs> in you. Okay then. Now you're self-conscious. I have absolutely no (laughs) clue how to react to that. I'm too tired, I think. All right. Tell us about Eurovision. What the fuck is going on with that? Why are SJWs losing their shit about Eurovision? It's a song contest. And... And... uh, Do I have to explain? Something about Israel is my guess. Yeah, Israel won last year, and when you win, you it's are the hosted one in your country. Hosting the gotcha. Shit. So this year, it's host. It was hosted in Israel, and apparently, some Palestinian people asked that it be boycotted. I I don't know. That's pretty much a, it, what I understand it. Yeah, I don't watch Eurovision. I don't I don't even have a TV. So I was I saw yesterday there was a, a, an, a, an article <clears throat> that caught my eye because it had women without their uh, blouses on, um, and the story was basically that there were a bunch of Orthodox rabbis that were going to boycott that were going to come and protest Eurovision. Um, and so these, uh, these women just took off their tops and were walking around their bras and the Orthodox men just ran, just took <laughs> off, could be in the presence of, that. of, of women that were in a same state of semi undress. I saw Interesting. That. So, uh, so women, so women's bodies, uh, in a state of undress, have that power on certain men? Huh. Mm-hmm. I thought that was just a myth. Yep. Ultra-Orthodox Honestly, Jews clashing with the police in protest of Eurovision. Boomers have on everyone. Mm. Yes, yeah, that I, I can believe. I, 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 would, uh, I would agree with that, yeah. Even straight women are self-conscious about their boobs and are conscious about other women's boobs. I don't know what's there's something really f- Freudian about boobs, and uh, please write that, spell that with with an A, <laughs> because that's how I call him. Fraud. He is was a fraud. I have a fun meme with a picture a picture of him, and in black and white, of course, a nice picture of him. And it's written, blame it on your mother. (laughs) Freudian slip. When you say one thing, but mean your mother. (laughs) Yep. He thought women wanted dicks, but we want boobs. And we don't want them to. Freudians are just the worst. (laughs) Everyone wants boobs. Maybe not gay dudes. But they seem to like boobs too. <laughs> Fuck, I love boobs though. <laughs> Go watch uh, Confessions by T- the Tim Minchin. Um, audience, go listen to uh, Tim Minchin uh, Confessions. 
but the, after after our broadcast ends, if you now, now I guess we should we won't care if like uh, our audience members like leave the stream and just like go and listen to that and mention some song. After all, it's only like what four minutes a song, and they can come back to our stream. Indeed. But any of you is uh, on the you on the YouTube video? I am. I sort of am. I'm trying to post links in the thing. Yeah, but uh, is it open? Yes, it is. We are live. We've been yeah, live so for a while. We are five, so we are the three of us plus two. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, Demon, yeah. There's Demon no, no, and Martin, four of us. I guess. Do we, we also have... Oh, I'm not on there. So, yeah, the three of you plus Tom. Or plus two others. Oh, I don't advice. know if Tom is on it. Tom has gone to eat a winner. <laughs> and, 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 I'm so wait, happy. wait, 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 I'm so happy I got to say that. <laughs> Tom also has to like uh, serve uh, Marty the uh, SJW burger, as Tom said in the live chat. Come here. Yeah, he's going to fire up the grill. I don't have. Well, I I do have a grill. I should get it do, out. Do it's, you have any nice. any um, rich people to grill? <laughs> a zero emission no, electric grill. No, but I have I have two different kinds of hamburger, and I have some hot dogs, or wieners, or fry, or frankfurters, or penises, or whatever. God. Anyways, this can is, we talk anyway. about something else now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you start it, and then we go this way. All right. Cool. Marty is talking about Steve. Uh, talk, uh, being on fire uh, in reference to certain atheists, Steve Shives. So she's uh, she's talking yeah. about um, Sam fucking Harris, who who, is, who seems to to be hell bent on being king of the shit takes. Yeah, he is the worst. I mean, so he he, he tweeted about uh, milkshakes on fascists being. Mock assassinations. Mm -hmm. He is what a the complete fuck? fucking douche. Is he the one that tweeted about uh, about somebody who got milkshaked or, or glittered or something and then later was actually assassinated? Uh, I can't remember. I... No, because I don't think that happened. Somebody did well, tweet I mean, about also... somebody getting a, po a Dutch politician... A Nederlander getting a pie thrown at his face, and then a month later he was killed. Okay, that was and that wasn't yeah, Harris. I don't know if that. But don't uh, think that was Harris. Uh, it's a uh, it's a national sport in a lot of countries to pie politicians. So hmm. we have I done that here in America I too. I think it's, it's a, a non sequitur. Exactly. But yes, yeah, Sam Harris tweeted about uh, about uh, throwing milkshakes on on fascist being mock assassinations yes and uh the guy who tweeted about the dutch politician are... was um unsurprisingly a member of ukip <laughs> the leader of ukip wales <laughs> anyways and so a lot of people uh asked him why he was so silent when joe cox was actually uh murdered mm -hmm. by fascists that was rhetorical, of course, because uh, Sam Harris is a cunt. And I'm using a UK slur on purpose. <laughs> because, yeah, Joe Cox deserved better. And yeah. the yeah. fucker who got milkshaked deserved way worse. I mean, it's Sargon of fucking Akkad, Tommy Robinson, and what's Nigel his name? Nigel Farage. Farage, Farage. I don't even know. Hey, at least know. Nigel Farage is not. But is, but the thing is, Nigel Farage has been so milkshake so often. He's now afraid and huddling in his like bus, and afraid to come out, and afraid to be like poured dairy products on, being poured on with dairy product. No, but for real, I don't like when people use food as munition as ammunition, but. Seeing they those should use bricks. Grown ass men act like the milkshakes are anthrax or whatever. <laughs> it's really funny. And I'm wondering because honestly, they look like they were 
in the middle of a bukkake. And <laughs> it exposes if, the lie it's, of. It's. The... I'm wondering if it's what pisses them so much. Like they look like like a bunch of men come on them. It's funny. I. I'm sorry. It's funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fascists love to, you know, claim that they're the tough guys. They're the best. They're the, their strength and power. And yet, as soon as anybody comes after them with a fucking milkshake, they run the fuck away. I wonder if they'd prefer that we, uh, that we, uh, spenter them, uh, with actual physical elbows. Is that that seemed to have shut Spencer up uh, a fair fair amount. Mm-hmm. And, and plus, yeah, it's, it, this is kind of the thing where it's just like I think it was like um, uh, Leon Thomas on Twitter of like a ready to get cut the channel ready to get cut. He said the, like the how the right complained about like us pushing not seeing Richard Spencer. And so then we now throw milkshakes at them, but yet that still was not too that still is too much for us people on the right. And so that's just the case where we just never win. So I am not going to like hold it against anyone that's throwing milkshakes at anyone for any reason, and or even a punch for like Richard Spencer because remember any Nazis around punch them, mm-hmm. punch all the Nazis. Yeah, throw some fucking bricks in their fucking faces. Honestly, <laughs> remember and remember, uh, uh, bricks. Bricks are vegan. Bricks are vegan. Are, <laughs> are vegan? Yes. <sighs> and that, and yeah, yeah. Another thing that like uh, Marty mentioned in the chat that uh, so yeah, this uh, this YouTuber, uh, atheist. Uh, apparently with a big following, I, I only heard that about him until like his most recent confrontable, uh, Rationality Rules. He's a transphobe. Let's just pull it out there. He's transphobe. I'm and... so shocked. Mm-hmm. An atheist white dude is transphobe. Yeah, wow. yeah. But no, no, no. You don't understand. He's, he's, a, he's an ally. He's an ally of uh, the LGBTQ. He said so, whatever. and he would know. He, yeah, and he's <laughs> uh, and he, he's a white straight guy. So, and and he called himself an ally. So, why are these, why are these asshole trans folks not not accepting that he's an ally? He doesn't think that's fair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And why, why, why would why would they criticize him like that? That's that's. Ethel is so unfair, right. holding him to standards like that. He's an ally. He gets to call himself one. Mm-hmm. I'm of the opinion that uh, I can aspire to allyship, but I don't get to call myself one. Uh, that seems to be a little... Um, I don't think he has that opinion, though. Oh, God. No, I of just... course not. He's a white dude. I'm sorry, it's completely unrelated, but I just opened Twitter and in the trends I just read, John Voigt says Trump is the greatest president <laughs> since Lincoln. Yeah, John <sighs> Voigt has been crazy since um, quite a while ago. Yeah, I, um... I knew about James Woods, but I didn't know about him. I'm kind of all I really knew about I James Voigt. Him was um, apparently Angelina Jolie really, really hates him and will not say why. Well, she's his daughter, so... So we can draw some assumptions there, but... John Void, not James Void. Yeah. Yes. James Wood, John Void. James Wood has been very Potato, potato. Okay, is it potato or potato for real? I say potato. It's potato. Nobody says potato. I say potato. No, they made that up for the song. You say tomato. Actually, I don't know. They might say something different in Britain, but they would be wrong if they did. No, no. In Britain, they say potato, too. Okay. But I think they do say tomatoes, so. Yes, it's tomatoes. No, it's tomatoes. 
Oh, really? Well, they'd say tomato here in the U.S., but they say tomato in Britain. So I think they made up potato for the song just so that they could have the we, parallel with tomato, um, tomato. In France, in school, we, we learn uh, tomato, not tomato. Well, you're learning British version, probably. No, we're, we're learning both. Mm. Then well, I don't know what to tell you. We're learning well, in French, both, it's uh, tomate, yeah? Voc yeah, tomate. Yeah, so probably just seems more natural. No, I think that's because it's a, a Latin word. It's not based on the original American name? Peruvian? Something like that. Probably. I think it was the South. I think most of the good oh, stuff no, you're are right. it's South Latin American. Word. So, how how is the original word pronounced? No idea. I'm looking it up now because I was curious. Yeah. Uh, Western South America, yep. And the it was originally an Aztec word, Nahuatl, and it was tomato. Ooh, T O T O M A T L. A, it's an A. Mm -hmm, tomato. Anyway, sorry for the <laughs> non sequitur, but that's okay. something that I was always wondering, and that's not the kind of thing that is easy to Google. <laughs> true, 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 yeah. Potato or potato? Uh, you could actually yeah. probably Google that is fairly easily. I... How do... I don't care. I have my answer now. <laughs> I just Googled, is it pronounced potato or potato? Without any difference between potato and potato. And, and it found... did give me a uh, a link. Um, you know, it says, is potato an acceptable pronunciation for potato? And it talks about the song, and it says that it is pronounced potato in both American and British English. That's what I told you. Yeah, I think it's in, in British English, it's more like potato. Potato. Yeah, that you don't pronounce the T's very well. Yep, we yeah, elide potato. them. Yeah, we, we, do, we make them into D's an awful lot. I remember once I chatted with a friend who wasn't used to talk with someone with my accent, and he was amazed at the way I say it, mountain, because I don't know, apparently I say it better than you do, because I We pronounce... say mountain. Mountain. Yeah, you say, you say mountain. <laughs> Speaking of potatoes, a lot, a lot of you speak like you have a potato. Warn us when you're going to say. <laughs> and yeah, he was amazed because I, I pronounce all the letters on in the word. It's called a like, glottal stop. What we do there. Well, we do that. I think every language mm -hmm. does that. We're their their own words. I know if I'm going to speak uh, in French. Uh, naturally without uh, making efforts to be understood by someone who doesn't in, understand it very well there's a lot of chances they won't understand what i'm saying and here is an if example of a sense. glottal stop that you will never ever be able to forget i just posted the link in the uh, chat what the, what a glottal stop that you'll never be able to avoid reading the fact that whenever you say Batman, you don't pronounce the T. It's not Batman, it's Batman. In the same way, it's not mountain. It's not yeah, mountain. Yeah, you, you pronounce it at the <laughs> bottom of your throat. Yep, that's the glottal stop. When you close your throat up at, down at the glottis. Yeah, we, we don't have that sound in French. I don't think we do that. We do other stuff to our, to our <laughs> language to, to, to torture it. But that glottal stop is very weird. That and the, 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 the thing with the, the teeth, it's something we, we spend a lot of time learning to do. 
Oh, the the TH sound, the theta? Yeah. <laughs> and then to know when we have to say th and the. <laughs> the slightly harder versus the slightly softer, yeah. Our language is weird. And when we have to say a ah or a. Someone once made fun of French and said, well, yeah, well, uh, we are, uh, at least our language, we pronounce all the vo vowels or something like that, but. You have like three different ways. No, oh, you have four sake. different ways of pronouncing the letter E. You don't get. <laughs> yeah, but we have accents on on it to to tell you how you have to to pronounce it. Mm. It's not random. You you know when you see the letter, there's the <laughs> little accent drawn on it. <laughs> but I saw a, a funny post about the word oiseau, it's bird in French. And it's spelled mm. O-I-S-E-A-U. Mm. And so someone wrote the word and said, they are all the vowels of the, of the alphabet, which is true. And <laughs> none of them are pronounced like they're supposed to. <laughs> which is kind of right if you don't know the French language. But... Fun with languages. Yeah, please stop me because I'm a nerd and I can go on forever. No. So find something to talk about. Um... Well, All right. What do you think is the origin of anti-intellectualism? Uh... Not you. <laughs> Nazism. Fascism. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Fascism is a big part of it. I think a lot of classism and uh, anti-Semitism come into play there too, which obviously has huge overlap with uh, fascism. Yeah. Right. It's almost as nerdy as the language conversation. <laughs> I was more thinking you posted something uh, about a conference. A with conference? A lot of oh yes, the uh, not MythCon. And Oh yeah, that one. Okay, let me find. Let's see, I'm gonna have to look it up. And of course, since I'm streaming this, my internet's running slow. It, it, okay, I'm David. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, that it's what it's funny because it's a conference about. It's an anti-racist anti conference. Full of white supremacists, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. Oh, a whole lot of white supremacists and Who David Packman. Who is Pacman. roaming fucking millennial as moderator and stuff. And, sorry, I'm, I don't like to, to go about people's intelligence, oh, but that woman is so fucking dumb. It's painful. Ugh. Wait a minute. I was I was blowing my nose and otherwise occupied. What was the conference? I just posted a link to it in Discord. I'm having trouble posting links in the chat at the moment. Oh. Yeah, it's. I love. <laughs> I love how the PZ's article starts. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think that that summarizes the thing. Wait, wait, that's MythCon? No, no, no it's not it's... MythCon. It just involves some of the same people. Oh, um, okay. Is, it's another is conference. That would not surprise me. On ending racism, violence, and authoritarianism. And oh my God. And uh, how to fight that, that urge. Mm-hmm. Um, instead of, you know, white genocide, you know, that got changed to great replacement, but now the first panel, instead of being the great replacement is the great migration hosted by, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they're talking about birds. <laughs> and so it, it sounds kind of cool, you know, and it has noted it's let it's moderated by white supremacist, Stephen Knight. And panelists include Lauren Chen, a.k.a. Roaming Millennial, white supremacist, Clara Lehman, white supremacist, uh, Daisy Cousins, the name sounds familiar, but I don't 
know that she's a white supremacist. Tara Devlin, also don't know her. No, no, just a little funny thing. There's a, a panel on how to admit that you're wrong or something <laughs> with Sargon of a card in it. <laughs> That's almost a parody of itself, right there. there. Yes, yeah, it's so funny. And let's see, we have how prohibition amplifies problems, moderated by Melissa Chen, um, who I wouldn't call necessarily a white supremacist. She just capes for them in the guise of yeah, free speech. Yeah, she's a bootlicker. And I don't know Aiden Paladin, Karen Strawn sounds vaguely familiar. Brittany oh, Simon Asian, and pa Megan pa Murphy. Paladin. I know who that is, and she's a. Uh, a asshole piece of shit mm. she she was one of the people that like like what how many people died in the holocaust six million four million oh what is a matter or or said something to that effect yeah, yeah she made a video and she more it's it wasn't much i don't know if it was anti-semitism or ignorance or a mix of both but she, she she seemed to doubt the numbers, or yeah, not yeah. know them, and and be can't be certain. Yeah, yeah I can't don't be certain. Yeah. yeah, I don't know Karen Strawn or Brittany Simon. For a second there, I confused Brittany Simon with Brittany Pettibone, but uh, not the same person. Karen Strawn, you don't know who that is? The name sounds familiar. Uh, it, it, Kevin, Kevin did a descent of manosphere about her. That would explain that. She, she's a fMRA, the MRA. Yeah. Which would explain why she's on the same panel. Oh, okay, yep, that's the one. All right, recognize her now. And um, which why she's on the same panel as Megan Murphy. Definitely a turf. I don't know who Megan Murphy is. Actually, it's interesting. I see David Pakman on a Yep, he's the token leftist. Panel. Well, there are actually a couple he's not of even like... this. Is Pac-Man leftist, though? He's liberal. No, no, Definitely no, no. liberal. Pac-Man but... is not a leftist. He's liberal because yeah. he, in fact, made a video a aid of why he's not a socialist. He likes the free market, yeah. Yeah. And there's <laughs> also Jeff Waldorf of uh, uh, Around the Nation on the Young Turks Network. He's mm -hmm. a reliable leftist. Tara Devlin is apparently a liberal um, running a comedy website republicandirtytricks.com okay so it looks like they have a few tokens in there let's see um demonetize what role should corporate america play in activism uh don't recognize any of the names on there bill ottman rucka rucka ali rucka rucka ali oh, yeah. was oh, he, he, yeah he, yeah he's an asshole too <laughs> he's saying a song uh, about sarkhan and cog that was like that sarkhan really liked at last year's best cons at the party of it mm. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was a suck up to, to Carl, <laughs> or at least a, a panegyric. I don't know if it was actually, you know, who is the the uh, more being sucked up to or sucking up in that relationship. <laughs> it was a sixty nine. That would not surprise me. Okay, let's see nuance. Well, I, uh, hmm? Go ahead. I I just I, I see Blair White is scheduled to be there. I. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, but I, I saw in passing um, and uh, YouTube noticed that uh, Blair White had a, had a, um, what do you call them when you put things on YouTube? Video. There we go. <laughs> YouTube. I had a, a senior moment. Okay. Uh, YouTube video. Uh, I think it was entitled I'm done. And uh, it, from the, uh, from the uh, thumbnail, it looked like she was pretty uh, agitated. And I'm wondering, you know, if there is some <clears throat> something going on with her, maybe wanting to back out a little bit of. of Did this, she lose her Patreon? Who? Uh, Who I don't Blair about? White. Blair, Blair White. Oh, God. Oh, she, she announced in November that she's detransitioning. What? What? Dean transitioning. Yeah, apparently back, she posted back, a video back in November of last year that she's detransitioning. And wait, and now she's saying in March of this year, talking about not getting the surgery and doesn't look like she's detransitioned. Uh, 
I'm guessing uh, the detransitioning thing was um, oh, man. comedy, satire. I don't know, but she oh, the panel she's on is Nuance, uh-huh. Context, and the Future of Comedy Online. Oh, God. <laughs> Moderated again by white supremacist Stephen Knight. And it includes such luminaries as not only Blair White, but Armored Skeptic and Count Dankula. You want nuance? Nuance and context and the future Dankula, of comedy. Armored Skeptic and... <laughs> And Hunter Avalon. I don't recognize oh, Hunter Avalon. Uh, Hunter oh. Avalon. Uh, also, um, Kevin Logan did also a uh, Descent of Man's Fear on Hunter Avalon <laughs> as well. Uh, he was he used to be a fundamentalist Christian. He used to be a Christian as well, and so he would argue with Kevin Logan back in the atheist days about like, yeah, that. And so, so he, now he's, he's shed, just a right wing atheist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's no. I mean, he's that a, one. a young asshole, young looking asshole, uh, super <laughs> old kind of guy. That one is the less self conscious of all, I think. Honestly. Wait. Yes, yes, I agree. Anything that has nuance and comedy in it, with <laughs> almost skeptic, Blair White, and what's his name? They have Count no Dagula. sense of humor. I mean. They think that they're so humorless. They have to punch down. They they're not. <laughs> they have nothing. All all they yeah. can do is insult people. That's all they got. Again, just like if they're like being censored, then they have to say, "But I'm a comedian." <laughs> it's satire, no, man. It's not. satire. They're not funny. They don't even know what satire means. It yeah, means exactly. that you say you're a Nazi, and when you get called on it, you say you're not a Nazi. Yeah. Schrodinger's douchebag. Okay, and the final panel is ending racism, no, violence, and authoritarian. Oh, oh, you're right. I forgot. Changing minds. How to admit when you're wrong. <laughs> Host moderated, moderated by, by roaming Chen. millennial. Uh, Panelists yes, include so Melissa Chen... <laughs> Sargon Tim of the God, Pool. Tim Pool, and, and Shoe on Head. On head. Yeah. There we go. Apparently, Shoe on Head is having some regrets about being so openly a Nazi. Um, lately, she has. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, he... I recall hearing somewhere that she has been making overtures to be centrist, right centrist, instead of openly fascist. I think and so. Right centrist yeah, well, in American sense, right? Because yes. June is from New York, and so it's like so. And yet, you yet when you bring it up to her, it's all like, okay, if you're being like right centrist in American sense, you're still far right in the like mm. global sense. Oh yes, yeah. but I, I haven't seen that myself. I just recall hearing it somewhere. I can't recall yeah, if it was a podcast were... or a YouTube video. I listen to so much shit. I don't no half the time yeah i honestly i don't give a shit what she, she feels <laughs> but, yeah, fuck you. i'm usually a pretty empathetic person but mm-hmm. she's I oh look at me i'm cute that means people. it's okay that i hang out with nazis yeah in fact i'll actually um that was the point that like uh phoenix of uh, feast ryan the channel Phoenix is crying 87 made in the two videos that she did in response to june sean i like yep. phoenix she's cool Oh, they're Phoenix cool. Uh, yeah, they're she, pronouns. her, and they, them is a, like acceptable pronouns for Phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's just gender queer. She's just like, just like me. It's just like, ah, being cis doesn't feel right. She's cool. I, yes. I, don't... I don't know I who Tim Pool is. She's... Tim Pool is and Tim Cass. He's a shit face. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. He's it's the same kind of like a shit face that has uh, bad takes online. It's just like, I don't um, I, He's just not as bad as Michael, Antipia, but Michael yeah, Roland um, makes a lot of uh, response to him on Twitter. Okay. You follow Michael Roland. I do. The, it's just the, hard to keep up with Roland because. He's on fire with, the, with the, the, the shit takes. Okay. And the shit takers. <laughs> It seems to be the, the national sport these days, too. 
Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Pete, Tim Pool will pretty much be kind of like one of those guys. Like, I don't remember if he in fact said it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Tim Pool says, "Hey, there's something into that manifesto that like that terrible guy like they said uh, before he shoot up a synagogue or something like that." So he has similar bad takes to like yeah, towards that. David in the chat say, says it better than I was going to say. He's a journalist, and please draw a lot of quotes around that word. He calls himself he a journalist, is. gotcha. He's a shit face. Okay. I have a long list of shit face on the right and the left. I All need right. to write mm -hmm. it down so, once, one day. Melissa Chen, <laughs> I don't know if she's ever admitted she's wrong. Roaming Millennial, no. Sargon, never. June. I don't know Melissa maybe. Chen, and I don't want to know her. So she was a I big participant comment. in MythCon when Sargon was there. And she I defended know, it but a lot. I don't know who she is. Yeah, that's all I know I about her is that she was standing up for Sargon and MythCon in general. So she's a mouthpiece for the rich piece of shit who now owns MythCon, basically. Mythos is Milwaukee. The guy who was funding no, Richard no, Carrier's uh, slap suits. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And have you seen? He's suing PT again. <laughs> yes. Oh, like I, I, I think I mentioned it last week, and I, I see that I shared the uh, video, but Re I'm going to keep on sharing it because it's so wonderful. Uh, oh, Rebecca right. Watson did oh, a, yeah. Yeah, a yeah. cringe cast, basically going yeah, over Richard it, Carrier's uh, lawsuit. But I'm, it's so funny. It's ridiculous. I mean. Yeah, He's I saw... a grown-ass man, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he he, yeah, he willingly saw... posted his own emails. So... Oh, <laughs> go ahead, Tom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I I just I I I didn't see uh, I didn't see Watson's. I saw PZ did a uh, did a um, it's, it's mail opening. opening. Yep, <laughs> mail opening. That was pretty. That was pretty. Oh, and then he just that's tore that's he, seems, he seems really worried about it. Yeah, and uh, apparently, uh, uh, Carrier is is, is going to be his own attorney this time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you, you know what they say about like when someone represents their self is that they have a fool for a lawyer. No, they have a pervert and a for a lawyer. For a client. Yes. And a fool yeah. for a client. For fuck's sake. Well, this case he has a pervert for a client. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. At least it's funny. Oh, my God. Not on purpose, but. I really exactly. recommend that video. It's 25 minutes of Rebecca Watson going through it. There's an email exchange that Carrier himself shared with the court between himself yes, and Hannah Data Boy. <laughs> and oh my God, it's just awful. I mean, it's like, just imagine yourself writing a letter to someone you have a crush on in high school. Except he did that as a 35-year-old man. Oh, it's just the most wonderful thing. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's yeah. It's pathetic, honestly. Yeah. He, uh, apparently, the, the rich guy from Mythicist Milwaukee is no longer bankrolling the lawsuit, so Carrier's That's doing it himself. Well, he no, he lost. He was dismissed. Yeah, but yeah, it no, 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 it, he didn't lose. It was, he did get dismissed. It, it was yeah. just, but it was dismissed without prejudice, and that mm -hmm. was what I was afraid of when I heard that yeah. way back when. That it was without prejudice, which means that he it's, can still yeah. file. without prejudice he, means that it could be filed again. Yeah, but yeah. PC doesn't seem to be that uh, upset no. about it. No, no, but 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 it's going to still cost the money, which is yeah. the pain in the ass. About but it. now, because carriers representing himself. It'll be a lot easier for the lawyer to do the work necessary to smack it down and get it cut out of court, which means this round they, they will cost less. He did the work. I don't think the lawyer, Pizzi's lawyer, will have to put more work. He already had the case dismissed. He's going to have the case dismissed again. Well, I, yeah. I hope this time it gets dismissed with prejudice, so because that, mm -hmm. that uh, you know, I would like to shut that. Yeah, particular faucet off for carrier because he's writing that as a, uh, you know, poor mm -hmm. look at poor me. But yep. uh, the I've thing been is, silenced. like, yeah, but the thing is, like, Richard Carrier is like suing the individuals and the separate states. That's the mm -hmm. was the thing yep. that like was the technicality that got the uh, first thing to be thrown out is because like Richard Carrier was like, where was he suing from? Ohio. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he moved well, to Ohio. He sued from Ohio. I that's don't know right, if that was on right. legal counsel or anything, but Ohio 
does not have an anti-slap suit uh, law, which may be what influenced him to sue from there. Don't know if it influenced him to move there. Um, but it got thrown out because he didn't have standing to file from Ohio because he didn't live there when it happened. None of the other people lived there. So the judge just eventually threw it out. So now he's suing the people in their respective states. And each so, of those respective states does have an anti slap suit, which is probably why Carrier's case will be even more quickly thrown out than before. Doesn't he have, okay. have a job or something? Uh, not really. He is a blogger and he gets paid... <laughs> He gets paid a couple hundred bucks per blog post, I think. Yo, yeah, yeah, he's 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 a he's a, a, a private intellectual sort of mm -hmm. thing. He's got a he's got his PhD, and he uh, when he, he started he stuff. started well when he started he was doing you know yeah I guess he's still doing that, but he was that was where his money was going to come from. He was going to crowdfund you know, crowdsource uh, income for himself by being this public intellectual. Mm -hmm. And now he's... Uh, a publicly funded historian, basically. Yeah, which is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. you know, I he, makes, I would, he makes 678 per blog post. Yep. So doing one blog post a week, you could make a pretty, an okay living. But he probably does two or three a week. In related... Uh stuff uh if you don't already do it um go and follow um uh, stephanie's van on twitter she's fucking amazing oh i love stephanie's van oh yeah she's yeah she's cool. so cool she's going at set andrews this day is so funny because that man is <laughs> as stupid as sam harris and no his worth is is dumb mm-hmm I don't know that he's as bad as Sam Harris um, yes, in he terms is. of his, I, like, I, he's never offered that I can recall any sort of defense or advocacy of torture or nuclear war. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Sam Harris is a right-wing clown. He's an asshole. He's racist as hell. Misogynist yeah, as hell. Sam, hey, or sorry, Seth do Andrews. people don't see it, though? Uh, they uh. don't want to. He's, he... I don't know. Oh know no, it's because he spent women who like him, and when I saw what he said about atheist yeah. women, uh, I I don't get it. Women I think it's feminist. because he spent time in the East studying um, mysticism, basically, and meditation. I think and that provides nice him some man. sort of I, cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One so of the, uh, one of Sam the Harris, woman, I I I know. Okay likes him because he has a nice voice i mean okay <laughs> yes i guess and 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 just earlier this week uh fox interviewed sam harris and getting in and things getting interesting it's oh did he not, replace yeah. se cup as their token atheist i don't know that's like uh it's on like the is YouTube is sharing this with me because this is like what anarcho pack viewers also watch recommended videos for me, and it's the surfs zero books re education oh philosophy tube and then critical thoughts with that Fox interview with Sam Harris and just... oh and Christy Winters is recommended to me for anarcho pack viewers yeah and yeah they have a stream later on sunday about the ukip eu uh election results with card dips anarchopak is cool yes anarchopak is like a, a very wonderful uh youtuber and anarchist but i and think she's ha she has too much faith in bread tube yeah mm -hmm. i think she's being very naive in in thinking it can I don't know. There was a conversation on Twitter, but I don't think BreadTube can achieve much as long as there there's a cult of personality around certain people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my. You want to name names there? <laughs> oh yes, I can name name all you want. Peter Coffin, ContraPoint, mm -hmm. um, even even Steve. I mean, he's not really on on BreadTube, and he's cool, but. There's still a cult of personality around him, and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like I said, no heroes. That's bound to, 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 to fail if, yeah. if it exists. It's not just the shit faces. It's the good people, too, which shouldn't have... It, it's about the movement, not the leaders. 
Yeah, that's why I'm happy that Garrett has taken a step back since he. Who has? He Garrett. Remade. Oh, Garrett. Garrett. Is that since he Destiny? His channel. What is guess? What, what was Garrett's channel? Garrett, just like G R G A R R E T T. Okay. Oh, if you don't follow him, follow him on on YouTube. He's, he's so cool. He's an anarchist. Uh, uh, yeah, anarcho syndicalist I, I, and. Uh, Garrett. And he's There's a cool. lot of Garrett. Really cool. Garrett but... Watts. No, 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 not Garrett. No, Garrett. Garrett left us. There. Wait, okay, he has a shield you. with a bunch yeah. of red and black yes. stuff. Okay. And, Our narco syndicalist. Um, okay. When he was, uh, he had a channel before, and he scrapped it and he recreated one. And before, he was pretty big in BreadTube, and I, as much as I love him, he's my friend too. Um, I'm happy he's not a pro prominent face of BreadTube anymore because, as I said, that cult of personality, I don't like that. That's It doesn't have a place in anarchism. Agreed. And that's why even if Peter Coffin wasn't a piece of shit, it would still be bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I but I wonder to... how. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, Jonathan, I just went to uh, the channel you put up, and it says that it doesn't exist. That might be an old one. Garrett. That's that's the channel that like I I put in. That's the old channel. How did that happen? I don't know. I'm looking. You at posted it right now. wrong link. I think I just posted a correct link. Maybe. Well, I mean, I'm, I didn't put it in the chat. I'm putting it in the. Uh, thing now do you want me to put it in the chat i have it sure oh did you try the next that yeah that's a great one all right then that was weird you're weird that's yes i am. like you Oh, a discussion with some random geek. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm joking. I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, go to the Garrett channel and watch that discussion with some random geek. But, yeah. <laughs> hmm, but Stephanie Savan is definitely awesome. She does a lot yeah, of great why work. Does, I want her to have a. She has a podcast, sort of, not a YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, I saw her chat with. I don't remember who invited her. Was it Christy? Possibly. I don't remember. Someone she was on did brainstorm. A, a show. Um, no, no, not on on, pod, uh, on podcast on. Um, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Oh, uh, she was on about... queer explaining. Oh, that's nice. Talking about one. brainstorm, uh, Lisa uh, from brainstorming is the one I said uh, who likes Sam Harris because he has a, a nice voice. Inciting incident. That's another podcast. That's a great. No, one. no I think uh, I think I saw that was a panel from Skepticon. Was with Christy maybe. Yeah, Christy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, Christy Waters did a uh, a chat with I set this fan. Uh, yeah, it was last just year. an informal. Uh, conversation between the two right uh, two awesome the, ladies doing awesome work i think it was about like the uh, atheist uh, like sexism problem no that's not the one it's it was like something like coffee with that was the brainstorm van. podcast no, or that oh, says that not quite brainstorm. coffee with uh, stephanie's van so okay i I listen to that. Of course, I listen to that. I always listen to Brainstorm, but... Except... Corey uh, interviewed uh, Peter Coffin, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a talk with him. <laughs> God, I'm, 
I'm the most annoying friend in the universe, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you keep on telling us to go fuck ourselves. No, no, that's Kevin. You tell us to fuck off, babes. <laughs> Yeah, I refriended Kevin on Facebook, but oh, I'm not subscribed to his channel mm -hmm. anymore. I don't want to see that. Every time I get upset and angry, and I like him, he's cool, he's my friend, but honestly, I think he's too much of a liberal for me. Mm, not, yeah. not a liberal, but Dem soccer or something like that. He says he's a socialist, though, but it's just like I think he is, but it's he's not as he's trying to communicate with everyone and he's trying to satisfy everyone. And yeah, yeah, there's that. It doesn't work like that. You have to pick sides. I don't like when people don't want to pick sides. I, I don't want to label myself. I think it's cowardly, even if I'm not saying they're cowards and they don't pick side because they non want to, but yeah, mm. well, Fence you sitting. know me, I, I have strong opinions and I like you are, people who are yep. the same, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like me? I'm not, I'm not committable about a lot of things. I'm... No, you have a lot of opinions, Tom. You're not non-committal. You are actively engaging in learning about these things so that you can make a commitment. All right. Sounds good to me. That's been my MO for my entire life, so I suppose that's still what's going on. And I certainly don't like what's going on in the uh, in the political system, political systems in the West with the right-leaning stuff and even the, uh, <clears throat> even the uh, stuff that I would have considered my my area liberal and progressive and left progressive uh this uh, almost seems like we need to shake things up a bit more than that yeah uh, honestly you need to start cutting heads in the u.s honestly i was gonna i was gonna say I, that was that was uh pretty much your uh, uh my uh my throw to you for the guillotine comments no but i'm i'm joking I, with that but i'm i'm kind of serious because i have a friend uh who is a, a jewish woman and she lives in a city where well she she's not that religious but her kids go to the synagogue and stuff like that and she has there was, uh, with the attacks and all, uh, her kids have an escort to go to. I'm not surprised. To their place of worship, and it's not a way to live. But yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, there's a... an awful lot. There's an awful lot of uh, people on the right that are very, very empowered at the moment. Uh, that share John Voigt's uh, opinion about Trump yeah, and, mm -hmm. and are actually go further than, than that. And, and uh, I think that's I'm... where the QAnon stuff is coming from. They want something, they want Trump to be the Fuhrer and they would really like it if he went further right, further authoritarian mm -hmm. and would actually do the things they think he wants to do, which he may actually want to do more violently arrest and execute his enemies and things like that. Uh, and I think that certainly needs to be, there needs to be a counter to that and it might have to be pretty strong. I'm, she, I, I talk about her because she wrote something on, on Facebook and she, she said, our hope is with 2020 elections. And Who we're talking about? My, my friend mm. from the US. Oh, okay. Was, and I, I answered her that your hope uh, is with a bunch of guillotines. And I'm, I'm joking about that, but you really need to, we, to move your eyes. We need serious, serious really change. Want. Because right yeah, now we are being held hostage by like. I'm gonna cut it because yeah. 
Elections gave you Trump, for fuck's yeah. sake. We are currently being held hostage by like 25, 24% of our population. The fascist America. Yep. And Joe Biden, right at the moment, or last I saw, oh, was, God, that was pulling, can't he no. just was fuck pulling shut way the fuck ahead up. of everybody else. Of, of course is, he is. He's an old white guy. Mm-hmm. I, well, so is Sanders, but he's... Uh, I, I mean, I don't wish him ill, but I just hope he has a heart attack and dies. Yeah, I kind of do, too. Not I mean, Sanders. I not Sanders. Mean. Sanders, I'm okay with. Um I think he's kind of clueless sometimes about the way he does things, Sanders. I think he has the right ideas on a lot of things. Um, I like that Warren is has a whole I lot of stuff Sanders, well laid out, and I agree with most of the stuff she Sanders wants. Is, he's too old. I think, mm-hmm. I think it's my only issue with the guy. It, he's a white old dude. Yeah, he's, he's almost 80 years old. I can't remember how yeah, old he is. Yeah, can't we go with someone a little younger at least? Hey, Warren. Warren. Biden is old as shit too. Yeah, Warren is like 72. They're all going to be dead in 15 years. They're not going to save the world. They don't care. No, Warren's only 69. <laughs> <laughs> We're all perverts. Hey, wait a minute. I'm older. Wait. You, you also president. should not be president. You, you have the I right. I can't. Say. <laughs> Tell uh, me and, about president. Uh, actually, let's see. In how many weeks? In yeah, you're three, almost in seventy. Three weeks? We know. No, no, no. I am seventy. I'm going to be seventy-one in about oh. three weeks. Oh. Well, in three weeks, we'll be sure to wish you a happy birthday. Three, three weeks from today, yeah. Until then, I, stop hinting around for presents. It's not going to happen. Well, I'm hoping I'm not going to be <laughs> here that day. I hope I'm going to be with my son eating lobster. Uh, yeah. And talking on my brand new, uh, brand new, fancy smartphone that works on Wi-Fi as well as <laughs> uh, regular uh, Fi. <laughs> Yeah, I have. I'm I'm in this little tiny village that that has horrible horrible cell reception. So but I does have, have a internet. cell phone. For, oh yeah, well, it's cable internet. Um, so I have I have a VOIP uh, telephone, uh, you know, landline. Well, landline analog sort of thing, over the internet. Um, but I can't get cell phone so i have to have two phones uh one for you know when i'm out and about and one for you know getting messages so i'm getting uh going with a uh, a company that does um that their phones do work on wi-fi so i can get rid of that and cut down my expenses by 10 or 15 bucks a month and at the same time i'm going to get a what i hope i hope i can afford a classy new telephone so I'll be able to listen to uh, Terry Pratchett in bed. <laughs> See, it all comes around for a full circle. Full circle. Yeah, yeah, but if you ever Pratchett. end up any sort of classy, we'll have to kick you off the podcast. That's not what we're about here. We're class warfare. Can yeah. I be a proletarian, proletarian with a really nice phone? Yes, you can. No, so as long as that everyone him. else has a... He's just jealous because he doesn't yeah, have my a phone, phone. I have a flip phone. It's crap. <laughs> flip yeah. phones oh my well, god wait a minute wait a minute it's personal property you said personal property was fine it's yes very fine. yes that's true that's true Remember everybody deserves nice this? things i was just oh, talking no, shit. you were in that when i called him an attention whore <laughs> <laughs> you weren't you weren't there yet <laughs> When that was before my computer crashed whore. me john just, john is an, at, at, an attention whore yeah, John Brockman's attention whore. That's why he has a podcast. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to him. He's just <laughs> trying to get attention. I I give people shit. It's what I do. Did someone just speak? I didn't hear anything. I heard <laughs> not by man, man, man. I heard you know <laughs> peanuts, peanuts, grown up voices. <laughs> so Tom. Uh, Quickly, sorry for the listeners. It has nothing to do with the podcast, but I post you a link 
Uh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. It's, I, I have the link up and I'm going to look at it as soon as I'm done here. I, I hope it's, it will help you. I need all the help I can get with, uh, with this kind of tech. I'm, I'm, I am the um, same. I'm the same. Yeah, but you're better with phones because you have a you have a phone that can do that kind of stuff. No, I, I don't have I I don't have space on my phone. I don't uh, put it on my phone. I used to put it on my laptop to listen in bed, but my brother has it now. I I thought I, you said you put you had it on your phone. No, I don't have the space on my phone. Well, I'm I'm confused all over the place, which is um, par for the course for me for my whole life. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm I know to it works. It I know it. I have other stuff that I have downloaded on my phone, if it makes sense. But I don't have the 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 disk world on my phone. It's it, it's too the the files are too big. It's almost one uh, giga. Book. Okay, well, that's going to be that'll be interesting too with the uh, uh, OneDrive because the free amount on OneDrive is, I think, five gigs. Yeah, so that's I, why I to... only upload them two or three at a time. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah. that's all right. Yeah. That's I, that's... Not, if I can figure out how to get them on the uh, on uh, my. Uh, on my one of my tablets on the uh, on the uh, speak amongst yourselves while I have a senior moment again. Yeah, yeah, we all understand <laughs> what you want to say. Don't worry. When I have the 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 extra storage card that you stick in the uh, side of the, the SIM card. The, uh, no. No, 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 SD card. SD card. SD card. Yeah. There we go. S the SD card that that. Uh, that's the other thing about oh I'm on I'm on about my phone again. I love my phone. I love the phone I don't have yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 looking at it. It says that I can have have up to up to a half a terabyte Tom, is, of storage. Is your son a take savvy? No, not particularly. Oh God. I mean, he's better than I am, but he's not. He's not. Uh, ask he's not ask him text. next time you see him is if he knows how to transfer from a computer to a phone or from a computer to a tablet, so he can do it for you. It's the simplest way to to have the stuff you well, want I, to listen to uh, readily available. It's, you just need a, a cord. <laughs> Yeah, I have record, yeah. I, well, there that I suppose, but the other thing is that I'm also I, I know how, I know a way to do it, but I'm just too lazy to do it, which is to put a put the uh, the mini USB card from the uh, uh, tablet into the into the USB holder and st or the uh, SD card holder and stick it into main computer and download it directly from there. But that is yeah, that's that more is like work three, than, that's than like about three I'm steps. Saying. Yeah, I, I, and I'm thinking about it. I, I think I might actually have. No, I don't. But I do have uh, an don't idea. Don't you I, stick I, in your tablet to to charge them? Yeah, I, I I know what you're talking about. I just I'm just the the only cords that I can see right now that are marked at all ha say that they're only for charging, not for data transfer. So I have to make sure okay. I have one that will transfer well, data as well as you. You power. will have one when you have your phone, at least. Probably not, because I think. Well, I don't know. That's going to be USB C, so I don't know if that's going to that's, that's going to that, fit that, with that, that should work. What the right. fuck is that country of yours? For fuck's sake, you don't have the data transfer cards with the tablets and the phones you buy. No, no, no. They they, they should they should work the same way because like the like for the uh, fire that I just got, it came with its own like a um, cord and its own like a. Um, the the electrical plug socket the charger thing and it's just like that the electrical plug socket just has a usb thing so you just plug any usb into that that end and you'd be able to charge it but i'm just, i can easily use that same cable that that came with the fire the uh kindle and plug it into like my computer from the uh, tablet and be able yeah, to yeah like... if it has a, a so regular that... usb at the other end you can do transfer 
Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll try that and see if that see if that works because that try would certainly it, be a lot easier. Maybe your computer will uh, prompt you to install something. You do it. All right. You, are you on Windows 10? Yeah. Yeah, that's for Cardo's everything for you, anyways, which is fucking annoying. Yes, it is. <laughs> But I guess it's cool for people who are not very tech savvy. But well, that's perfect for me. Then I, I would. The more, I miss the Windows more help Seven. Area. I'm that kind of people. Since I don't use Windows Seven anymore, I keep whining that I miss Windows Seven. And was when I was on Windows Seven, I kept whining that I missed Windows X, XP. I remember thinking, well, of XP and then, you know, having these improvements that I didn't see improve my experience all that much. Anyways, sorry for the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah the show sorry. turned into Grandpa Tech time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... I'm... I'm. It's um, for a good cause. It's for... It's, it's, it's for me, which is the best Tom, cause. It's for Tom to be able to listen to the Discworld audiobooks. You Indeed, always it's a good very cause. Very important. Everybody yes. should read, yes, watch, listen cause. to, play the video Talking games. Talking about that, I watched the the, the movie. Uh, Tom, fuck you, John. <laughs> and uh, you mean which going postal? Yeah, uh, Charles I know Dance, you. You mentioned Charles, it. Charles Dance as a veterinary is so fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. Except his hair color is wrong. I don't care. <laughs> his face is perfect. He's so patrician. Yes. Yeah, yeah I did like that. They should that have perfect casting. Dyed his hair. I I agree, but his hair and his beard should have been black. But other than that, he was perfect. And that woman who plays uh, Miss Chris Block, I love her. She's in the new season of Elementary. I'm not going to pronounce her name because I don't know how to. Uh... Tamsin Grieg? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming that it's a Germanic pronunciation. I don't care. That I like her. <laughs> it, it was a fun. That changed a lot of stuff um, compared to the book, but. And I agree with you, Tom. Um, what's his name? Guilt wasn't perfect. That might have been me saying that last week. Oh, that I didn't yeah, like the way was, they. That was fine. I didn't like the, the way they did. The guilt. actor is perfect. I love David Sochet, mm -hmm. but I didn't like the characterization. Is yeah. kind of insecure. I agree guy. with you. But I like Angua. But I like Angua, so. <laughs> badass werewolf. She's so much more than a badass werewolf. Yeah, but that's always a good place to start. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, I was, uh, that was a pleasant uh, tree I was. I'm glad you liked it. I thought you, I thought you probably would. Of course. Not. I saw the animated, uh, animated uh, movies for, uh, Wet Sisters, which is very bad, but I don't care. I loved it. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at my calendar, it's seven days uh, until, wait, six days from tomorrow before, dun, 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 good omens. Oh, oh, yes. Looking forward to that. Seriously, good omens with David Tennant in it. How perfect can it be? Where does, it, where does it air? I'd... It's on Amazon it's on Prime. Amazon looks like Prime. yeah. Yeah. Hope you. I hope you can get it in. Uh, yeah, I don't care if I can't get it that way. You know, I have another way. I have. I Anarchist. know nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I will deny it. We will continue the fine tradition listening. of the original anarchists, pirates. Arr. 
Arr. Talking about pirates. <laughs> do I have to have to my do, foot cut off? If you, no. If you, if you feel down sometimes, there's a channel. Imagine if uh, Bob Ross was a vet, veterinarian. Vet, vet, a do- veterinarian? A dog for animals. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Yeah. Imagine if Bob Ross was that. Does it sound like someone you'd want to watch? <laughs> That's a guy, a, a vet, who who gives a, um, advice on how to care for cats. And he has a cat that's name is Mr. Pirate. And he's always on his shoulder. And that channel is awesome. If you like cats... You have to watch that. I'm going to stick it in the in the live chat because it has nothing to do with anything, but it's it feels good and it's good for the brain health and sharing is caring. How am I not able to find this video anymore? What oh. video? Uh, it's a funny video with uh, starring David Tennant and it uses clips from his time as the doctor. But I don't want to spoil uh, it, but I can't find is it. it. Is it the one with Donna? Uh, no, it's it's a bunch of stuff from across his time and it's set to music. It's an amusing song. Oh, okay. The the first episode of the the, the season with Donna, well... She's so awesome. She's my favorite companion. Yeah, she she's my favorite companion too. She's she's perfect. <laughs> Anyways, when they talk to each well talk quote unquote <laughs> to each other uh, behind the door and and window, that scene is so fucking perfect. <laughs> So, okay, I've stuck a veterinarian at Bob Ross for you. Yeah, I saw that. I got it up. More things to do after the uh, <laughs> after we're done here, which is coming up for me, actually. Yeah, yeah same. I'm... How's your pain? It's okay, but I, I haven't slept... Uh, in a while, actually. Ah, uh, so I got I got six hours of straight of sleep last night. Which oh, was, nice. Uh, which was not enough, and I would like to have had more. But uh, then I remembered what uh, John said about when he got a bunch of sleep and felt shitty, so I didn't mm-hmm. want to repeat that. Yeah, so I, I'm, yeah. I rearranged my sleep schedule this week, pulled an all dayer so I could start sleeping at night again. And I've not slept the night through since. You know, I'll go to bed at 11, wake up at 2, get back to sleep eventually. Yeah, that sounds like my life. That sounds like me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except I don't really sleep. I doze off and I don't know. I feel like I haven't really slept for a long while. And I'm very tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what that's. Uh, that's I and you. I know if I, I go to bed now, I I won't be able to sleep. So I'm probably going to play Sims because that game is awful and um, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I is think it, it's it's the most inane game I have ever played. Is Sim Four still free on Origin? I don't know when I got it. It was, but I don't know for how long it was. So I guess you'll have to check because <laughs> I know, I mean, I got it. So I can tell you if it's still free or not, because it's in my library. So I can see if I think it was a week. So maybe it's still. Because, yeah, I guess I haven't like uh, downloaded it yet. So. I play a lot of Bioware games, so I had origin installed anyways so that's why i yeah that's the only one reason of why my I... friends said uh, 
a free game alert the sims 4 is free for a week i think or a few days i don't remember so yeah and it's I free to play for that one installed, week. so i got it to see what was the first about and i get it without getting it honestly it's there's no goal in that fucking game it, it's, it's a dollhouse yes <laughs> why is it so addictive i'm 40 years old for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> have you set uh, the room on fire with people trapped inside yet no not trapped inside let I'm people trying... go swimming in the eventually. pool like, remove the ladder I'm trying to have a romance <laughs> between my two <laughs> girls who are roommates I'm intrigued and best friends so it's more difficult than it seems to sims 4 <laughs> is still free it's like it will be it's it's free from may 21st to may 28th yeah so it was a week so and it's still it's, free for another still, three days yes and for the memorial day weekend that's right it is memorial day week uh tomorrow is uh mother's day in france hmm Ooh, what's that? Uh, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day. When is Mother's Day here? Is it past? It was a it, couple yeah, weeks it was, ago. Well, it's like three weeks ago, I think. In your country. Yeah, several weeks ago. So tomorrow we go to the in-laws. Because I don't have a mom, but partner has one. So... Well, We're sounds... going to stuff ourselves with food. We'll be <clears> at, <throat> at the countryside. Sounds... If I doze off on the couch, no one will care. I think it it's going like to be a good day. It sounds like me at Thanksgiving in the old days. Yeah, that's going to be dinners. that, except it's warm. <laughs> and you're probably not going to have lots and lots of turkey. Maybe we are going to. I you yeah, never know. She has a turkey a ton no, there? it's not turkey. It's um, goose, duck. No, no, no. It's a kind of chicken, but it's not really chicken. Let me check. How... Capon. What's the Capon? word in English? Grouse. It's Fe pheasant. It's Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl. Okay. What? Yeah. She likes to cook that when I come. Because I don't like lamb. When I don't come, mm. she cooks lamb. <laughs> and she does uh, some uh, baked potatoes, which is mm. um, a specialty of the region with uh, cream in it. And it's so good. Anyways, we are going to I'm... stuff ourselves with food. And I'm going to have, uh, in a very little bit, I'm going to have myself a couple of hot dogs. Wieners. Of wieners! <laughs> wieners! Full, full fucking circle. Full yeah, circle. And on that callback, I think we might as well call it a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, at my, uh, I'm at my hour and a half of uh, old time, old age. Uh, attention span and bladder bladder control span, and I I think I think tomorrow is is I don't know, I haven't seen the uh, the, the last the, the final tally, but uh, Christy was talking about maybe having a hangout tomorrow too for the patrons. So oh fuck, um, well I won't be there. Uh, well she has a she has a a, a poll up on her. On winter snowflakes, so you can maybe check on that and if, yeah, why you know, not? Say she wants to have it next. She one of the options was next week, you know, into uh, June. So maybe you can let her know that. Uh, Steve's hangout is also tomorrow as well. One p.m. East. What? What? It'll it be in? like uh, six in your time or seven. If it's seven, maybe I'll be there. Six, I won't be there. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Seven, maybe I'll be there. Tomorrow should also be Steve's thing, shouldn't it? 
Yeah, yes, but I'm not a patron of Steve's anymore. Mm. I'm not a patron of anyone. Christy is just awesome and let me come, come anyways, but Steve doesn't. Oh, yeah, there's the European elections tomorrow. I, I can't say I give a shit about that. I don't <laughs> vote anyways. It's too much work. I'm looking the, fucking disabled ass. The only thing I'm looking forward to is seeing... Uh, I was hoping to see um, Carl Benjamin crushed uh, into a, a, a small, greasy red stain. That would be so nice. I don't know. Um, far right parties uh, do well usually in the European elections. For some yeah, but in, in, in Britain, in Britain, they're uh, they're going up against uh, UKIP is going up against the new Brexit party with Nigel Farage. So I, you know, I, oh. I think in Brexit is the Brexit party has got a lot. I mean, they're they're pulling ahead of every other party as far the last I heard. Yeah, um, so I, I think if wasn't people... impressed with uh, Carl's uh, history of, of rape tweets and stuff like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> the the British press had a good time with him. Anyway, and, and with the UKIP leader too. Okay, yeah, I'm Tom McDonald Old. So David, if you're the you're, you're still there, David. Um, so yeah, I am old, and that means exactly what you think it does. So um, and there it is. If, are other people going to be uh, shuffling off at this point too, or am I yep. going to have to be the first one to slink off into the dark? No, we are going to fuck off. I think. Yes. Yeah, it's we are. that time. Okay, well then, fuck off to all of you, yeah. uh, individually <laughs> and as a group, and to whoever's left in the in the chat, uh, you can fuck off or not as you choose. We won't be here. I recommend they fuck off, but it's not not mandatory. I think it might be a little boring. Little just I don't want to like it. Shit. Honestly, John. What well, the fuck is nip. wrong with you? E I E I O. E I E I O. All right. So, Jonathan, why don't you lead the way with the uh, sign offs? It's podcast listeners, aren't you glad you listened to the full show now? <laughs> so, hi, I am some random tween or some random geek. Some random geek on YouTube, some random geek on Twitter. Follow me there, sub to my channel. I did finally post the um, Avengers Endgame spoiler free uh, review as well as a spoil filled review. So, uh, I did make good on that promise and uh but please donate to our friends and comrades who could use uh, something that could use a little bit of money like uh christy abby uh she could use a little bit of money um don't, her paypal is like a red lincoln or something like that um please donate money to like uh, lady columbia please donate money to uh phoenix rising 87's uh, gofundme campaign mccab b has a gofundme campaign uh foxy jezebel has a GoFundMe campaign, uh, but also please uh, go, give money to uh, Joanna at via PayPal to Severe Joe at, pay, at gmail.com. She could really use the money. It was like a shit month this month for her. And uh, but yeah, I don't. And she has a kid. Yeah, and she has mm -hmm. a kid. So yeah, and those are my pictures. All right, uh, Julie. Moving to the country, gonna eat a lot of peaches. <laughs> peaches <laughs> from, come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory. Shut up, Jonathan. It's my turn. <laughs> Go ahead, Julie. <laughs> Singing again. You should know better. So, I'm... Uh, Oh God, I'm Leto Anor on Twitter, and uh, I am an admin at Anarchist Memes on Facebook, and I have a craft and art page that I haven't uh, updated in at least a year on Facebook. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Crip Crafter, so come give me a like. And uh, that's all. Uh, what about anarchists? Anarchist memes? I okay, you did. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, anarchist memes. Sorry, I got distracted by the setup stuff. All right, Tom. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, you I want? Know. Do you want more? I'm I'm Tom okay. McDonald, and I have uh, stuff. Uh, 
but nothing that's at all interesting to anybody else. You don't want people to talk to you on the Twitsters? No. Okay. No, that's fair. Not really. I don't use, I, I barely use Twitter and I'm, I'm even uh, begging out about Facebook. So I don't okay, do that there. So I'm, I'm just kind of disengaging from the world and getting ready to plant my sunflowers. And drift okay. off and rock off into the sunset on my chair on the porch. Sounds like great retirement plan, actually. All right. As for me, I, uh, in addition to all of this stuff, I participate in another podcast, the Dungeons and Debacles podcast, hosted by my friend Kevin. It's a D and D podcast where uh, we're playing an evil party, and it is a heck of a lot of fun. Entirely different from this. Uh, you'll also find me here most days playing video games and or the guitar. So, if that's anything at all that interests you. And you can find me at uh, Sir Goshan, S-U-R-G-O-S-H-A-N, on the Twitters. And uh, that, I think, will do it for this on week. The and, oop, on you the Twitters. On the Twitters. On the Twitters. <laughs> and that'll do it for this week in Social Justice Academy. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Billions of peaches. Peaches for me.